Quick disclaimer, uh, these videos are meant for educational purposes only. Anything said or shown in any of these videos are personal opinion and my perspective. Trading carries a high level of risk, so anything done is your responsibility. All right, because this is looking at that last up move before the down move in this entire schematic. And you can see this is all done in a monthly chart working off a six month bias. <laughs> Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to Ment FX. And in this video, I actually wanted to take a look at some of the trades that I took this last week, just two main ones and kind of break them down for you and show you that, you know, what we do applies and is applicable to every single time frame, every single market, just as I've always taught using, of course, our three best confirmations, which is the structure, the SMB, and the confirmation, which is what I've taught on this channel forever, which has been taught now on other smart money channels. So, so a good a good thing about that is a lot of you are getting information from a multitude of places. Now it's about taking that information, taking that information, and and taking it to its next level by actually refining it for yourself, using a trading plan, getting a notify notify whatever the um the the trading journal um, software people some people use use, um, and getting yourself to that next level because. Um, you end up seeing how the math affects your bottom line and again, developing that trust and confidence in that math over time to begin to do so on the live charts. And again, that's not financial advice or anything. Um, your choice to go onto the live markets and when you want to do that is fully your responsibility and anything you make or lose at the end of the day is completely on you. So any of you that have used the private mentorship or the public youth videos to take yourself to the next level, and I've seen it happen month in month out and even faster in the mentorship i mean like mentorship has been insane if you guys want to join the link is just at the bottom of this of uh, the description um and even like today um a lot of people say that december is usually slower or the christmas months are going to be a little slower um i don't usually find that i don't i don't make that type of excuse um if the if the setup is there and the setup pulls back to an area that you're looking for and you get that setup or the three box methodology sets up the trade is there, the trade should work, and there is no reason that your math should stop working because of a given month. Um, I think that way of thinking is, is more, is, is very bad for yourself, um, just because you'll always attribute your own failure to the time of the month or whatever it might be. Um, so I don't believe in that. I think that, you know, there could be less setups, but if the setups occur, the setups are just as potent and as probabilistic as they would be if you've undergone the testing and had a journal and, and taken all of that into account. So that said, and that out of the way, Let's take a look at some higher time frame uh, trades that happened thus far um, over this week and how we've used our three box methodology to get involved in them, as well as kind of just break them down in a very simple format. Um, so right here we have GBP USD open and from the very start of the week, I think back here. So this is already 11th of November. So about 11 days ago, I was looking at this overall impulse as a, of course a bearish impulse and looking for that institutional order flow to continue to the downside, right? Because we understand that when we have this blue box created, which again, I don't always draw on these blue boxes and stuff. That's why you don't see it marked up on my trades all the time. Instead, you know, I see that blue box from a simple standpoint of here's my break of structure right here. You know, that's all I really need there. Here's my SND point right here. And here's a second SND point right here. Both of them are valid SND points to go short from. Neither is better than the other. Um, if anything, this one's better because of the refinement that I've taught you to do on multiple time frames. So if we jumped up to, let's say, an eight hour chart, you'll see that mostly everything is mitigated in terms of the way that wicks had been formed. If we go up a time frame to the daily, right, what we're going to see more likely than not, as you can see here, is the only last unmitigated portion would be this, but the last up candle would be this black one. So really a refinement of this black candle or 50% of it, if we go ahead and do that. Um, so if we just go ahead and find 50 right there, right? 50% of that lines up very nicely with whatever inefficiency is in here. And that should really be the only last point of mitigation that might need to take place. And if you don't know why, so here's that entire black candle. Maybe you can go to the wick if you want. If you did wick to wick, you can see how perfect and how precise that point is. And the reasoning for that 50% working the way it does here um, is because the orders, especially on a higher time frame, that it took smart money to push this candle up right here to grab all the liquidity that was right above this candle um, and to fulfill the inefficiency prior in this candle, which by the way, also presented a great trade last week or two weeks ago. Um, we had a bunch of people catch this down. So that was phenomenal. Um, and we even had someone catch a Euro USD short from up here um, inside of these points right here and take that all the way down. It's just been dumping and we expect it to keep dumping. So congratulations to the members that did end up catching that or to any viewers that ended it up uh, catching that because that was an absolutely phenomenal play. Um, so as you can see, you know, because we're on these higher time frames, and I talk about this in my Fibonacci video, so make sure you check that out. Um, 
on these higher time frames, there's a lot of orders that are being sent into the market volume wise to take out all the liquidity above these previous highs or to go and fulfill previous levels of inefficiency. And as we do that and price falls back down, the last up moves are oftentimes the most potent areas um, and are representative of the insane buys that took place in that market before the market sent itself downwards. So the volume that's in that black candle in this case, or that up candle or that green candle is also going to be the candle that has those orders that need to be mitigated, right? Those, those buys to sell need to be mitigated before they continue on their sell prerogative, which we can see is happening right now. Um, I've taken off most of my position at this low right here, about 80%. And right now looking for it to continue to this low right here to keep going short. So this is not my final target. My final target is gonna continue um, being extended and I'm going to look to trail as we go lower. So hopefully um, in my mind, it just continues going, but most of it's been secured and I have no reason to care about this. Oh wait, no, this is GU. I'm actually fully out of GU. So that, that was actually fully closed. It did come back up at the start of the week to stop me out at my trail. Um, but I'm actually still in on Australian dollar, US dollar, which we'll look at in a second. So again, that 50% refinement's right there. And as we jump down to see that 50% represented on the lower time frames, what we find is these perfect SND zones. And you can see this one's very deep. Um, so, the, so the volume aspect lined up with the inefficiency aspect, lined up with the other concepts I teach on this channel, does not really make sense to, to be using that specific zone. So instead, as we move our way down and look at the mitigations that took place, and of course, if you're in the mentorship and you've seen subsection six of section two, this is going to make a lot of sense to you. And I know a lot of you are watching this and a lot of you are able to catch it off the fractalized double MB from this low to high and from this low to high. So if you know what I'm talking about here, that's great. If you don't either consider joining the mentorship to take your own learning to the next level and, and get access to some of the concepts that I do not teach on the YouTube channel. By the way, you don't need them. You can, of course, use the YouTube channel concepts. You can see there's Wyckoff in here um, without even going to a lower time frame. The three box methodology is clearly available here, right? We have that break of structure lower. We have those SND points and we have that green box Wyckoff confirmation right up and inside of there, right? We can go and take a look at that on a lower time frame, or you can easily see the weak weak to strong hand transfer that comes to tap into that blue area, which is our POI, which is part of this large impulse here with our liquidity still resting at this low right here. And as we tap into that, we break structure with this candle right here. And theoretically under the way that I've taught you guys to approach Wyckoff, to think about Wyckoff, to think about mitigations, SND zones, buy the sells um, and inefficiencies, this is a phenomenal play to go short from. So I actually, I didn't actually go short from this specific area. I'm actually in the in the middle of building an algorithm that's going to be fully smart money based. Um, and this will be, of course, available to you in the future um, as I as I find a way to get it to get it packaged properly. So the people that want to take their own learning to the next level without utilizing um, their own understanding can take that understanding and view it in the form of indicators like so. Um, and then refine that way, but we're not gonna talk about that too much. And again, you have some some cool stuff in here like confirmation I think I used a bearish sentiment confirmation off the two and you can see how here these bearish these basically as we tap we get this bearish um, Signal um, which is not really a signal. It's more based on fractalized distributions and that's what takes the price lower So there's going to be access to that make sure you keep yourself updated on my channel For for that to be available soon, but again, it's nothing more than what I've taught shown and graphically represented in what I'm trying to code to be the smart money algorithm. So stay updated for that. But as you can see right here, with all that confluence of the higher time frame zones, their mitigations, the volume of the candles, um, then refined to the inside candles, which are part of that larger three box methodology to keep running to that low. That's basically where I look to take this cell down. As we took that cell, of course, I had partials that I was looking for at these equal lows here. So that was just met and that was a great um, play right there. And then I was stopped out. Oh no, actually, I'm sorry, I take that back. It was this low that I was actually aiming for for my first partial. This was my first partial and at that point I moved some plays up here um, to a trail and sadly this high just barely tapped that trail. So we got taken out of GU, but that's perfectly fine. But notice how right now we're on a four hour chart and there's no difference from this chart right here um, in, in, in respect to or in comparison to some of the other videos where I've shown you the one minute scalps that are happening during an Asian session, a London session, a New York session, we're just constantly battling back and forth, back and forth with these three step box range methods to keep going into a certain direction or to get ourselves out to manage and continue um, piling into certain sides of the market, right? So recognize that there's nothing different here. The only difference is the amount of time that it takes for these things to occur. Um, so this is that four hour setup right there. Um, this sadly did end up hitting break even after that. So uh, not a crazy RR, but again, right now it's basically 
um, a slower month for me just because I'm going to be in Jamaica very soon. I'm, uh, I have more time I'm spending with my family, um, with my girlfriend, because she gets off now. Um, so I'm just going to have a lot less time on the charts, and that means a lot less scalping for me, which means starting to, um, to use what I understand and the way I teach on the higher time frames, which again is no different. It just requires more patience and more time waiting because the same setups, although they present themselves, are going to take longer to, to develop. And some people actually that swing trade without that proper understanding end up FOMOing into moves much faster and harder than a lot of people that are scalping the market. And, and the main reason for that is because when you're a scalper, at least you know in the back of your mind that there's gonna be another setup like this, like this, like this, the next hour, the next two hours, the next four hours, the next day even, right? Versus when you're a swing trader, you know, if you miss this move right here, which even took, you know, from the from the point of break um, till till the actual entry took about seven days. Right. And right now the move is, is moving straight down to this low, which could take five days a week, however long it might be. And, you know, missing this confirmation, for instance, um, in this case, the confirmation was perfect. It was there. And anyone that was swing trading this and looking to take it down was able to do so. But what happens is in previous areas when you might have an SND refined to a certain area and price doesn't get there, or if you even had this zone right here, right, refined to this higher zone right here and it didn't get there, a lot more FOMO happens to people that want to go and successfully swing trade, right? Because what happens is they, they, they aren't able to get involved as often. So missing a trade for them means having to wait a lot longer. Now, if you're a swing trader and you're able to, to wait um, and be patient even when you miss a trade, that's going to take you ahead millions of years, right? I mean, not millions of years, but like experience points, you're going to be above almost any other trader because you have the ability just to wait for that next swing. A lot of swing traders, because of the way they, they operate, are going to be trying to find the next trade as fast as they can, as fast as they can. Um, and if they see it moving away from them, they could begin to... Um, they could begin to FOMO in and that actually ends up screwing them. So again, if you're, if you're someone that wants to be a swing trader, recognize that the trades are the same. They set up the same way. They have the exact same um, patterns, right? That we look for, not, not really patterns, but footprints that we look for. And we trade the footprints the exact same way, just like I teach you guys to use the rule of 30. But if you're not doing it from a perspective um, of understanding that they're not always going to set up, you're going to end up FOMOing yourself in and you're going to end up blowing accounts after accounts after accounts, just like I've done in the past, just like other people have done, just as you might have done, and just like you have probably learned from it. So if you haven't done that, learn from my mistakes, from other people's mistakes, and from the examples I'm, I'm showcasing right here, because yes, even though this setup right here is very nice, you don't always get setups like this, especially when you're on the higher time frames, right? That is why if you're a higher time frame trader and you are more swing trade oriented, you need to be ready to jump between potentially multiple pairs, right? As a scalper, I used to just kind of watch one pair during a certain session, trade that pair, and that's pretty much the day. Um, if you're someone that's swing trading, you're going to be missing a lot of moves. A lot of moves will not be making the structural uh, mitigation that you're looking for. And some moves are just going to keep going and keep going. If you've traded gold before or GJ, you know what I'm talking about. It just continues and continues and continues. And unless you position yourself early in that move, you're not really going to have an opportunity D depending on what time frames you're on to get yourself back in. So that's how you have to basically think about this. So this is one of our trades. Let's go to the Australian dollar US dollar trade to show you that the same thing is present, right? Again, you have a lot of structure. Actually, this one was phenomenal um, and has been following phenomenally, right? You have this bearish break. You have an SND point. This one actually doesn't get hit. Um, so that's fine. You have a new bearish break, SND point, And this one gives you a perfect entry. You could even refine that. And there's a great three box setup in there. So I'm going to I'm gonna make this more clean. I don't really like um, marking them up like that over and over again, but if you're new, definitely consider marking them up. But you have this break of structure and you have these break of structures in here. And both of those came from, so this first one came from here, which never got mitigated. So really after um, this breaks a few times, I'm out of this and it doesn't really matter. Um, the point is not interesting anymore. Um, clearly you have this one and clearly you can see there's a great Wyckoff setup in here, which we're not gonna talk about right now. And the algo in the future, when I have that release is actually going to find Wyckoff for you as well. So it's going to be a really interesting thing to see. And I can't wait to bring it on because it might help a lot of people that have a, a better tendency to view things visually and create that into a step-by-step -step plan for themselves, um, to be able to do that as well. Um, and you can see that we continue following this down. This was great. Delivered just the liquidity here. Broke structure again, and once again, we've created liquidity at the bottom, and in this case, we just ran it. Um, so I'm actually still in this trade right here, just managed, um, took most of my position off actually right below this low. So I actually took 80% off right here, and just letting 20% continue running in case this wants to keep going down, right? So this is an example of where, you know, I don't know if this trade is gonna come back up, swing into this footprint, and keep going short, or if it's just gonna come up and maybe come into some deeper inefficiency here. But what I do know is, 
I've, I've, I've secured everything that I needed to secure on this trade based on my rules. And all I have to do now from a swing perspective is hope that basically we get an example of, so I mean, GJ is probably the easiest one to view. Or actually we can just go to EU really quickly, right? So what I can hope for now is basically that we're in this kind of situation where we have a break of structure down, we come to test an SND point, we've come to distribute inside of it, we get that entry and it just starts going short. It gets to this low, but it doesn't just get to the low and then start pulling back into deeper SNDs or even go bullish, but instead it just keeps falling off. And as all smart money traders or all December related traders or all swing traders are sitting there going, there's never any entries, there's never any entries, I never can get entries, it's a slow market. You're sitting there just piling up that position and allowing it just to keep running. That is why I teach you guys to, to manage the way I do. And that is why I teach you to constantly be back testing and constantly be journaling to understand the probabilities and the numbers associated with your way of entering. Um, so now we're going to have a, a, a little fun break. Uh, it's a little bit of a throwback to a prior um, webinar that I had way in the beginning. It's webinar two actually. So I have that open right here. I'm going to show you this really quick. So this is webinar two. Uh, you can see the date on here was uh, three seven. So that's what January, February, March, March 7th of um, 2021. So very, very long time ago. And during this webinar, um, during this one hour and 22 minute webinar, I was basically explaining to people that what we do does not is not defined by a time frame, and it's no different on any time frames, nor is it different on any pairs. And you can see here, I opened up Euro CNH. Um, this is the first time I ever looked at it, and you can see I'm on a six month chart. And during that time, you can see what I've been, what I was showing them, and what I was trying to um, basically show them across a higher time frame. And it was that we have this break of structure down that broke structure right here. We have this liquidity low, as I've taught you forever, right? Three box setup. We have this SND point right here that has just been mitigated. And now if we keep playing this, well, basically I'm gonna mute myself here. And if we just keep playing this and go forward, you can see we skip down to a monthly chart, right, right here. And we show you this, which is what? You can see I start to label it up. This is a Wyckoff schematic, a, a distribution as we like to say. And you can see I highlight this one candle right here. So let me see where I highlight that so you guys can see it um, live. So you can see I'm, I'm basically looking for this to continue lower into that um, into that liquidity. But let me see if I can find an example of where I highlighted this candle. Because it's going to be a really cool thing for a lot of you to notice. Um, do I go lower at any point? Let me see. Oh, no. And then I skip up to a different... No. There, it was somewhere here. I got to show you guys this. Because it's, it's just a fun little throwback. And thank you, by the way, so much for all your support on YouTube and all that. Um, it's been absolutely amazing. And I appreciate you guys more than you can imagine. Um but let me just see if I if I highlight this candle at any point because I think I do. Um, it'd be great if I did, so you guys could get a little look. So you can see I'm, I'm basically labeling the schematic right here, <laughs> the good old schematic that we always label. Um, and you can see then, there we go. And you can see right there we label this candle right here as well, right? Because this is looking at that last up move before the down move in this entire schematic. And you can see this is all done in a monthly chart working off a six month bias, right? So let's now see how this has played out because I just had a message from someone. Um, I should show you this because it was really, it was just really cool to see. It was really fun to hear because um, I don't I don't trade six month trades, right? But the thing is banks, as they have millions and billions of dollars, these are the type of moves they look for, right? So I had a, I had a good friend of mine that was in the mentorship a while back um, that is now working on getting funded reach out to me and he said he was watching one of my old webinars and I predicted some shit almost a year in advance. And here's that here's that image of, of when I basically had that webinar and here's the right now. So let's go and take a look at that just so we can just so we can experiment and understand this higher time frame and how it's no different from anything we do. Right. So let's now go to this six month chart. Again, I'm not in this cell or anything. Um, I was just I was just doing this for the for the sake of it, just for fun. So I'm going to delete this. But take a look at what's occurring. This is, this is that six month chart and there's no difference from what I've taught you guys forever on here, right? You have that impulse down, you have that SND point, you have that Wyckoff inside, which you can clearly see, and you now have that delivery lower. And we can expect based on these footprints that this price is going to continue delivering to this low right here as, as liquidity. And again, it's perspective based, not financial advice, none of that, none of that, none of that fun stuff. Um, but what's interesting about this too, is that now if we step down to a monthly, let's take a look at that candle that I highlighted in that video, right? So if you remember, we were we were showing this schematic off, right, with the buying climax, the AR, the ST, the sign of weakness of phase B, the upthrust, the inside STs of that upthrust, creating that liquidity, the run of that liquidity with the UTAD, creating that weak to strong hand transfer, in this case, on a monthly time frame, the breaks of structure lower, 
the creations of new SND points that are highlighted in right here. And now what we have is price tapping right back into there and falling off the face of the earth. And this is an example for you that what we do is not limited to any market, to any currency, nor is it limited to any time frame. But what it does mean is that you will be waiting a lot longer if you're in the game of positional trading or swing trading, and that because you're waiting longer, you shouldn't allow that to be a source of FOMO or a source of something that tells you that what you're doing isn't working or that you never get setups, but instead it should be a source of you understanding that the market is the market. It's not always gonna deliver to a point for you and it's not always gonna have the pullback, but when it does and when it gives you the confirmation you're looking for in a market, that is what's going to create the most potent um, probabilistic setup for yourself and a, a, a good a, a good trader that has taken the time to to basically journal moves like these right because this is a six month move like this is this doesn't happen very often I'm sure we can look through other pairs and find these six month moves but you know this was called out about literally about a year ago or about six months ago in that webinar too and it was just called out because it was interesting to see that this delivered so perfectly to downside left such a perfect SND point, a supply point, the last buy before the sell on a six month time frame, right? So that means each two of these candles is a year. It's, 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 it's so cool to consider. I know some, some of you might not give a shit, but I think it's, it's, it's phenomenal. I love this game. Uh, I think Forex is a game in general. I think analyzing is a game and I think it's, it's a, it's a very interesting game to, to pursue and understand. Um, and then you have the perfect tap into it in the form of, again, weak to strong hand transfer, as I've always taught you guys on this channel. And from there you have in this case now, the one year delivery lower and more likely than not, this is gonna continue doing this. And again, this is all perspective based. Do not sue me. Um, you cannot sue me. You take responsibility for anything you do on the live markets or in anything live. Um, this is fully demo. This is fully, uh, what is it called? Uh, perspective only. And you should not act on my actions or my words, right? That's what I'll always say. But, you know, study this, notice this, recognize that we do this. Um, Month in, month out, people are able to take these concepts and apply them to any time frames they work on. Um, and all it takes from you is to go and, and actually open up a chart and begin to apply it to any time frames you want and begin to see it because that's going to create that experience, which is also going to breed that confidence, which is going to breed that ability to execute without problem and under a rule based, um, confident based philosophy. So again, thank you so much for watching guys. I hope this video helped you guys out. I hope it gave you a little bit of a, <clears throat> sorry. I hope it gave you a little bit of a, of a deeper look into what it looks like to experiment on and play with the higher time frames and how they are no different in any way, except for the time they take to set up than the lower time frames, the medium term time frames, the day trading time frames. And, and what it takes from you is the ability to be able to gauge this and understand this and witness it happen over and over and over again. And again, you don't have to be in the mentorship if you don't want to be. You can use any of this free content to get yourself and take yourself to the next level. But if you wanna surround yourself with a community that is striving with people that are like you, taking themselves to the next level every single week and every single day, then consider joining the mentorship, one of the best industries, sorry, one of the best communities in the world, one of the most active uh, most active mentorships in the industry. Um, and take yourself to the next level and check out these, these webinars because they're all available for you upon joining instantly um, and exclusively and you can check out some how some of this stuff played out but I think it's a great case study right here showing you guys that a six month um, chart that I that I actually predicted about six months ago or about let's see when this uploaded March 8th of 2021 um, during that time is when I basically shown out this monthly this monthly thing right here and we took that much lower and now you can see how that price is delivering and I think it's it's an absolute beauty to see it deliver like this and it's based on nothing more than the exact things I've taught you guys forever, which is your structure breaks and your invalidation points, as well as your um, liquidity points, which would be liquidity point, invalidation point, your inside SND points, which are defined by the last up moves before the down moves, right? Which you can draw just like that. And of course, the Wyckoff green box confirmation, showing you exactly where it is that you're looking for something to confirm and go short. And again, knowing where that short should technically end up. So once again, thank you so much for watching guys. Thank you for all the support on this channel. Have an amazing um, Thanksgiving or if it's already after Thanksgiving when I upload this, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Enjoy your December, um, enjoy Christmas. Happy New Year to, to you guys early. And of course I'll have a future video where um, I wish you a real Christmas and a happy new year because this video might come out just before it or just on it um, since I have a few, a few videos in the, in the making. But thank you so much guys, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next one.